the review guy here today, here to do another review. And today we're going to do a review on an M&P shield, chambered in 9mm, at least mine is. I believe it comes in 40, but I don't know because at the time I bought this one, I already knew I wanted 9mm, so I just went to my local sporting goods store and went right to it, got it, and that was it. So I didn't really look into it a whole lot as far as it comes in 40 or 45 or whatever. But we'll be doing today's video. It's probably not going to be too terribly long. We're going to do a uh, size comparison on the M&P 22 compared to this size. And I'll do a quick rundown on the features this one has. And that'll probably be it. Okay, so the Shield. As you know, they already have a second generation of this. It's the Shield 2.0. This one's the first one. So as you know, it is. They first came out with M&P. First came out with the Shield because it's compact. And it is compact. It's pretty small, which is good. Fits like, you know, my hands are big with the magazine in it. It's, you know, it's got a good pinky guard. But, make sure it's empty. But, okay, let's go on real quick with the features. The features it has are, it has the ambidextrous. The only thing I noticed on it actually is ambidextrous is the uh, magazine release. I did get the one, now you can get the one without the safety on it, if you prefer, but I researched the stuff before I buy it, so I already knew before going to even buy it that I wanted the one with the safety on it, just because I figured it would be kind of neat to have a, you know, extra safety. No, at the time, my Glock only has, like, you know, Glocks, so and only got the uh, safety on the trigger. So, yeah. It pretty much, I mean, I don't want to bore you breaking it down. It pretty much breaks down the same way as in the M&P 22. I mean, you just lock the slide back, click that down, and it releases the slide in the magazine and all that stuff. So you got to make sure the magazine's out, obviously. And then it's got a, a little hole right there. I don't know if you can see it, but when there's a round in the chamber, you can see it through that hole. It's got... Uh, Sights, let's see, the front sight looks like it's fixed. Or no, sorry, my bad. The back sight was fixed. The front sight you can adjust because I've adjusted it a few times and now I got it dead on. Okay, so with that in mind, let's bring out the M&P 22. The one that, if you've seen my video, my videos, it's already on there, you can see it. Or just look up, uh, Brandon M&P 22 and you'll find this one. So size comparison. Okay. Side by side, they are actually let's see here a minute. Let me get it like that. Okay. So as you can tell right there, I'll put it closer to the camera. The M&P 22 is at least no oh, about maybe an inch and a half, maybe bigger than the uh M&P Shield, which is really not a bad thing if you're looking for compact. Like, you don't buy a 22 to carry it. You buy it to plink around and shoot cans and whatever heck, targets and ammo's cheaper and stuff. So, really, it doesn't matter how big a 22 is. But, yeah. So, really, it's kind of a surprise. I never did a comparison to it till now, but really, the M&P, the 22s, a little bit bigger. Now thickness wise, just looking at it, you can tell the MP22 is a little thicker too. Now I don't have a tool to measure the width and stuff, but I will be maybe one day I'll make a video on that. But other than that, it's got the same features. I already did a video on it, so you already know. But yep, that's about it. Let's see. Oh it is. I mean I forgot it. It is exactly eight plus one, eight rounds in the magazine, so nine total in the magazine. And that's actually the extended magazine. It comes with two, as I recall. They all do, most of them anyway. It comes with a uh, just a smaller one, as I think is five maybe, plus one. And this one I carry, because I carry this gun all the time, so I carry the bigger magazine. It's got eight plus one. And one other thing it does come with is one of these things here for your pinky. So like I was saying a minute ago when I put my hand on it, if I uh, 
Uh, yeah, and then all the way. No, that's right. Well, actually, this one's too big, but the other one I have comes flush. It's flush with it, and then you're just like, you know, maybe leaves, gives you about half an inch or so of space. So really, your you know, finger will be hanging out. So if you have bigger hands or medium-sized hands, you'll probably go with this magazine just so most of your hand fits on it. And I won't bore you with that again because we already did it once. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, you know, it fits. And the holster that I have, I might as well do a review on that, is by Concealed Carry. Or, no, I meant Concealment Express. It's a really good holster. I like it. I have one for my uh, Glock, too. And, you know, it's got a little adjuster spring on it. But we can do a review on holsters later. But that was the review on the M&P Shield. So if you're thinking of getting a smaller gun to carry, if you already have a big one, highly recommend it. Uh, maybe the 2.0, I don't know. I haven't really got my hands on one yet. But if I ever do, I'll do a review on it. So if you like my videos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. There will be more coming soon. Later on this week, I will be putting out another one on the M&P 22. I'll be going to the range. And we'll be shooting all these two guns and an AR at a computer that I'm trying to destroy. So that should be something interesting to see. But look out for that video, and we'll see you later. Have a blessed day.